Hello everybody, I'm Dash Brandon. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, beginner driller build. Um, so I started over on a new account because <laughs> I'm crazy uh, and you know didn't have enough going on in my life. And uh, I started playing the PlayStation version of the game that came out free on PS Plus in January on the 4th I believe. And uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was some beginner builds because I noticed that it's kind of hard to play the game when you don't have anything at all. And uh, I think sometimes as veteran players, we might forget about that. So I wanted to introduce uh, Carl.gg. Uh, I am not affiliated with this website, but it's a build website and you can look up uh, builds for every class. You, there are a lot of different filters you can browse and recently I created a profile on here so that I could start making builds and sharing builds. Um, so the first one I made was my beginner driller build here. You can find it by going to my profile, uh, which there will be a link to my profile in the description to the video. And this is our beginner driller build. It focuses on all the basic weapons and all the basic things that you get. So you can start using it right away uh, when you start playing the game. Uh, as it says in the description, these builds are meant for no overclops and help 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 to ease players into uh, has three and four missions, making them a bit more manageable while you grind towards your first promotions, your first new weapons, uh, going through your first assignments, and all of that. So, what are we going to talk about here? We're going to talk about the flamethrower for the driller. We go with extra tank size so that you don't have to reload as often. Uh, and this is a lot of the direct damage. We went with flow rate and damage per particle um, is all direct damage. And then we have the last tier. Once you make it there, I recommend heat radiance uh, so that within four meters of yourself, you're causing constant burn, da burn damage and heat to uh, everything around you and then a little bit of max fuel in t4 to help with your uh, ammo economy because it can be really hard in the beginning of the game and i do realize that uh, next we'll talk about the subata the subata build uh can go pretty well into a um an overclock with the explosive rounds uh that the rounds explode when you reload but it's just as good without it. You're gonna go with a faster reload so you can get that damage out faster, uh, more ammo, uh, reducing the base spread and recoil, a little bit more of direct damage, and then 50% direct damage to burning enemies. So this is gonna combo really well with your flamethrower. You set them on fire, then you whip out your Subata to finish them off. It adds the same amount of heat, extending the burn duration so that the bonus damage is actually fire damage so you don't you don't want to be shooting fire damage at something that someone is trying to freeze until they've already frozen it then you can do a thermal overload uh, by causing them to catch on fire and then you will be doing massive amounts of damage to them uh, you also won't be able to freeze or set them on fire that's for a later video when i talk about status effects one day i'll get that video out all right then the drills, I just, <laughs> drilling doesn't feel good until you can drill faster. And I take both, even though you can then drill faster than you walk, but I also tend to jump while I drill. So it just feels really good. Faster cooling for drills when you're not in action. If you're not very good at paying attention to your overheating drills, then you might want to use the streamline integrity check instead. We're using the OST for Deep Rock while we talk about this, by the way. How good is this OST? It's so good. All right, last thing we're going to talk about is the Satchel Charge. Um, you basically want more ammo and a bigger area whenever you can take it. And then you get the Disarm and Pickup uh, once you get it up to that second tier. I don't really recommend volatile compound because anyone can shoot it and blow it up uh, when you're trying to disarm it. So there's that. Um, I always go for more health on my drill suit and pretty much all the characters, uh, even though you could make some arguments for shield, uh, you'd have to change it every time you went into a no shield modified mission. And then for the grenade, I really like, I really like the, um, 
the neurotoxin grenade. However, since it's a new build, um, a new player build, you're gonna stick with axes because they can do so much damage anyways. You can almost one shot a Praetorian that you've just set on fire in uh, has three. So just use your axes, get good with them uh, because once you get your freezing cannon, you'll be able to freeze things and mark them with your axes. Anyways, thanks for watching. This was a beginner driller build guide, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stick around for more, and we're going to make sure that we get our profile updated here so that you guys can uh, check out all these different things. We got a beginner engineer, we got a beginner gunner, and we got a beginner scout. So I'll see you guys next time for those videos. Bye-bye.